Hey, it's Ninja Boy. Welcome back once again to Super Mario RPG. So, there was a little bit of a fiasco over here in Bean Valley where um, I got through pretty much all of it. Everything was good. My computer crashed. And the entire recording and everything got corrupted. Which just plain old sucks. So uh, I kind of have to replay Bean Valley here to show you things that, uh. Yeah. Anyway, so if you uh, come through here and you fight enemies, and can I run away? I could not run away. Which happens every now and then. You just plain out can't run from a battle. Uh. Bite, yeah, bite, fight the little stinger guys, and then you uh, kill the little plant dude. Anyway, you come over into uh, this pipe here, and then if you come up here, this is actually a hidden question mark, a uh, hidden box, and I believe it had a uh, frog coin in it. Maybe it was a caracola that was in it. I I can't remember that one. This is the one I cannot remember what was actually in it. But then you can come down here and of course get into another battle with another set of guys and jump on his head. Soon I will be able to take him out in like one shot which will be very nice. Fungus Spike? Why would you do that? Well, Mario's a mushroom, and as such, he will heal himself, which is actually not too bad. Well, anyway, let's just throw our hands at this guy. And uh, uh, call it good. Not an able juice. You get lots of able juice in this area. This, that gives you a frog coin. So you want to get that one. And then you want to run past all the bees because you can. And you enter a place with five piranha plants. Which is really not too bad. Though I do want this guy to water all of the plants. I'm just going to speed up a little bit. Hoping that he'll water at least a few of them. There we go. So, I just wanted them all watered because why not? And you get into a battle with Chewy. I am going to just kill all of these guys really quick before anything else. And Bowser gets another level. I've actually been getting a ton of levels lately. Um, uh, I don't, he's not that good of a magic user is the problem, but that's the best one. Uh, I'll give him magic just this once. Okay, yeah. So, I'm going to go through and kill off all of these guys. Oh, why don't I show off Geno Blast? I don't think I've shown off Geno Blast yet. So I don't know with these hold Y ones, I don't know if you can make them stronger or not, but they do attack all enemies, which is actually rather nice. Or I should say that one attacks all enemies, which is rather nice. 58 damage, that is way too much. Well, anyway. So now Gino gets a level. As I said, Gino Flash, uh, they've all been getting a ton of levels. Uh, let's go with magic on you. Well, there's uh, three out of the way. Mash this guy. Punch this guy, because why not? And he's dead. Okay, just two more. And jump on that guy soon. At some point, I should be able to just take out the, um, what's it called guy 
back there with a single jump. I think I'm at like the very edge of their hit point thing. Okay, a little Gekit. I think they're Gekits. I honestly cannot remember what they are. If they're Gekits or something else. But either way, yeah, they're Gekits. I like their design. So let's just take this guy out. And there should be one more piranha plant that you want to take out. Jump on him. Let's see. Geno Flash. I don't remember what Geno Flash is. Yeah, I really do not. I don't remember, like, Geno's powers, even though I use, like,. Half the time, he's one of my uh, party members that I use. I just don't ever remember his powers. Anyway, they're all gone, so you can, in fact, actually fight this guy. He's nothing too special. He's just a normal shy away. Uh, he does have one of those guys with him, which is, again, not hard to uh, actually beat. But you want to make sure that you don't beat him before he waters all of the piranha plants, because... If you do do that, then all the prana plants will still be small and you can't do anything with them. Anyway, if you go down this pipe, one, there's a box here that has a thing in it that I cannot remember what it was, but this one has a caracola in it. And that's hidden. This is hidden, by the way. That is a hidden box. Now, if you go down this one here, there are two boxes. This one is a mimic. He will do mimicky things. This one uh, has a red essence in it. Then you can come over here, and up here gives you a box that has, I think, a frog coin or something. I honestly cannot remember what that box has. Then if you go over, I believe it's this pipe. Oh no, it's not this pipe. I didn't go down this one yet. Oh, these are r roulette thing. That's what the other one was. Um, uh, was a roulette. Anyway, I'm going to cheese this out because if you get two of the same thing, if I, because if you just do that, oh, that gives me a rock candy. Ooh. I forgot the stars give you a rock candy in fact, so I would have gotten a flower if I um, got the flowers, but I will take the star instead because rock candies are oh so much nicer. Uh, this pipe. That first one was a roulette thing that I completely forgot about. In here is another roulette thing which I forgot about, and in fact, I'm going to try for a star, because rock candies are amazing. So there's that, and then in the last one up here that I've not gone in yet, this has a golden chain chomp. This is a pipe that you are told about at some point. What you want to do is, I've already done it, as you can see, uh, you get golden chain jumps they are not hard they're super easy to just take out they do very little damage um, especially on how my characters are so they do very little damage zero Carnicus 28 yeah not really anything important there but I will take these guys out. One more attack will do it. And that is done. So now, normally, this box would not be there. But you go in this corner and you jump up, like, I don't know, until this appears and that appears. And then you can come up here. And if you go that way, it leads you to Great Guys Casino. I am not going to go over there quite yet because I've already unlocked it. I'm actually going to save 
even though, yeah, I've kind of already did that at some point. But save, and I'm gonna come over here because of this guy. You want to fight him. As you notice, he's a little different from most piranha plants. Smilax. So, yeah, he's uh, rather odd. Oh no, I popped him away. La di da. It's shower time. There, there, my pretties. Now there are two heads. Hi ho di dum. So, this is kind of like a hydra plant of sorts. Though, they have the same kind of magic and everything a normal piranha has right now. Also, if I remember right, oh no, you can actually jump on these guys, so that's good. Yeah, so I can actually jump on these guys, which will make this a little bit easier. La -de da it's recycled water! Ah, they're my pretties. Hi ho dee dum. Yep. As you can see, now he has three heads. Like a normal Hydra. Even though a Hydra is like every one you cut off, three come back or something like that. But with this one, you can cut off one and another one comes back. Anyway, I'm just going to super jump, ultra jump, ultra jump right now. Because this does or can hurt all enemies, and then I'm going to not do any of that. I am going to, um, what do I have? I'm getting maple syrup, because that would be nice to have. And then I'm going to just hit Smilax with normal attack. There we go. Pollen nap. Oh, really? On Mario? I may just use an Able Juice on him because I don't... I'm not really going to use my Able Juices on anything else. Because, uh, for the most part, after a little while, Able Juices aren't really that big of a deal because half the items you get stop something. la di da I added some nutrients. There, there, my pretties. And now there's a big one. Yes. Well, Mario's awake now, so I don't have to use enable juice on him. Well, that's okay. And Petal Blast. That will hit everyone, and if I remember right, that's going to hurt. Yeah, because it turns them into mushrooms. Luckily, though, Bowser is immune to that. I am, however, going to give a mid-mushroom to Mario, even though he is a mushroom and will heal himself. Got a freebie. If I remember right, uh, mushrooms will also have a little bit higher defense. 20. Ouch. Well, I do want to... Able juice on Mario, because even though he would heal, um, yeah, I don't want him to be a mushroom the entire time. I also don't want him to, uh, what's it called, die, but, because I realize I don't have any pick me ups right now. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to attack Smilax in a normal state. But I will mushroom Mario up again. Oh, don't. Stop using magic! Stop using magic on me. I'm weak against magic. Yeah, as you can tell, they really like going after Mario. Oh, great. So, Mario's now a mushroom again. Oh, good. It missed. That is actually excellent. Because now I can attack Mega Smilex again. He is done, so Geno Flash. Okay, hold Y for power. I don't, I never know 
I really don't if I'm doing extra damage or not with that. Which sucks, but it's true. Um, if Gino takes one more hit by, like, Petal Dance or something, he's dead. Oh, don't drain! Frick. Mario's probably going to die here, because if he does Flame Wall or something... Okay, that wasn't so bad. I really want to take out Mega Smilex because he does do quite a bit of damage. Anyway, let's do Geno Blast. And again, I have no idea if I'm doing the most damage I possibly can. There we go. This will be a lot easier to work with. Um, do a mushroom on Mario again. Using all of my mushrooms. Miss Bowser, which is amazing. And then probably just jump on him the rest of the time. There we go. And he's dead. 40 experience points and another level for Mario. Ultra Flame. Two, uh, three, and one. Go with the hitting. So you're more powerful at hitting. Look what you did, Smilex has been whacked. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get it. Queen Valentina told me to keep everyone out of Nimbus land. What should I do? Uh, I know I'll run away. But he left a note. What is this? It's a seed. Take it. Picked up a seed. So, now I have a seed. Also, I can hit this box. This box grows a vine. Believe. Uh, oh, did you see that? It's a magical beanstalk. Hit the box once more to climb it. I believe this is the only, uh, like, brick box block that you actually run into. Anyway, you can climb this vine. And you run into this area. Which I'm actually going to just take out. This guy really quick. He's not really that hard to uh, take out at all, but uh, I'm going to do it. Also, if you notice, you're completely healed after that battle with uh, Smilex. I'm not really sure why, but uh, you are. And let's jump on him. There we go. And I'm probably going to end the video here. How to climb vines. The vines are positioned from the bottom left to the top right. When you jump, you will be able to disengage yourself from the vine. Yeah. This is going to be horrible. But, anyway, this is, uh, yeah. The vine, the vine climbing part is pretty bad. Anyway, this has been Ninja Boy, and I will be back next time with more Super Mario RPG. See you guys then.